In the early 19th century, a remarkable shift in scientific thought was underway. English chemist John Dalton proposed the existence of atoms, a concept that would forever change our understanding of matter. These tiny indivisible particles, which Dalton called atoms, formed the fundamental building blocks of all matter in the universe. Dalton envisioned atoms as solid, indestructible spheres, much like miniature billiard balls, each one unique to its element. He postulated that each element had its unique type of atom with a specific weight, a revolutionary idea at the time. Compounds, Dalton theorized, arose from the combination of different atoms in fixed ratios, leading to the diverse substances we observe. This concept laid the foundation for modern chemistry, influencing countless scientific advancements and discoveries. However, Dalton's theory had its limitations. It struggled to explain phenomena like electrical conductivity and why certain elements combined in specific ways. Despite these challenges, Dalton's atomic theory provided a crucial framework for future scientific inquiry and experimentation. Dalton's bold vision ignited a scientific revolution, inspiring generations of scientists to explore the atomic nature of matter. His theory continues to illuminate our understanding of the cosmos, from the smallest particles to the vastness of space, shaping the way we perceive the universe. John Dalton's meticulous work and groundbreaking ideas laid the groundwork for the periodic table and the study of chemical reactions. Today, his legacy lives on in the laboratories and classrooms around the world, where the principles he established continue to guide scientific research and education. From the early 19th century to the present day, Dalton's atomic theory remains a cornerstone of chemistry, demonstrating the enduring power of scientific innovation and discovery. The early 20th century brought another seismic shift in atomic understanding. Ernest Rutherford's gold foil experiment revealed the atom's inner workings. Bombarding gold foil with alpha particles, he found most passed through, but some deflected sharply. This led to the conclusion that the atom is mostly empty space with a dense nucleus. Rutherford's nuclear model revolutionized atomic structure. This discovery opened new realms of inquiry. What occupied the empty space? What kept electrons from collapsing into the nucleus? Rutherford's experiment ignited a quest to unravel subatomic mysteries. It unveiled the atom's heart and reshaped our understanding. With the nucleus discovered, scientists embarked on a journey to understand the atom's inner workings. This quest led to the identification of three fundamental particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. They delved deeper into the atom's structure, revealing that these particles were not just random components, but had specific roles and properties. Atoms, once thought to be indivisible, were now understood as complex structures with a nucleus at the center, containing protons and neutrons, and electrons orbiting around this nucleus. Protons, residing in the nucleus, carry a positive charge. The number of protons in an atom's nucleus defines the element's atomic number, which is fundamental to its identity. Neutrons, also located in the nucleus, are neutral particles. They play a crucial role in stabilizing the nucleus, preventing the positively charged protons from repelling each other. Electrons, much lighter than protons and neutrons, orbit the nucleus at incredibly high speeds. These negatively charged particles are essential in defining the atom's chemical behavior. The arrangement of electrons in various energy levels or shells around the nucleus dictates an atom's chemical properties and its ability to bond with other atoms. Understanding these subatomic particles is key to the field of chemistry and provides insights into the fundamental nature of matter. The delicate balance between the positively charged nucleus and the negatively charged electrons governs the stability of the atom influencing its interactions and reactions. Exploring the subatomic realm reveals the intricate workings of the universe, from the smallest particles to the vast complexities of matter. It's a vibrant and ever-evolving field of study, continuously unlocking the mysteries of matter and expanding our understanding of the universe. Atoms of the same element can exhibit subtle variations. These variations are not just academic curiosities, they have profound implications in science and technology. Isotopes and ions add complexity to the study of matter. They are fundamental to understanding the behavior of elements in different environments and conditions. Isotopes have the same atomic number, but different neutron counts. This difference in neutrons can affect the stability and properties of the element. 
For example, carbon-12 and carbon-14 are isotopes of carbon. While carbon-12 is stable, carbon-14 is radioactive, decaying over time. Carbon-14's extra neutrons make it radioactive, useful in dating. This property allows scientists to determine the age of ancient artifacts and fossils, providing a window into the past. Ions are atoms that have gained or lost electrons, resulting in a charge. This charge can significantly alter the atom's chemical behavior. Anions gain electrons, cations lose them. This gain or loss of electrons is crucial in forming compounds and conducting electricity. These charged particles are crucial in chemical reactions and biological processes. For instance, ions play a vital role in nerve function and muscle contraction in living organisms. Understanding isotopes and ions reveals the diversity of matter. It helps scientists develop new materials, medicines, and technologies. They are essential players in the grand drama of the cosmos. From the formation of stars to the chemistry of life, isotopes and ions are at the heart of many processes that shape our universe. Navigating the atomic landscape requires understanding atomic structure. Consider carbon, with an atomic number of six. Its most common isotope, carbon-12, has six neutrons. Carbon-14, with eight neutrons, has an atomic mass of 14. Chlorine, with an atomic number of 17, has isotopes like chlorine-35. To find electrons in a neutral atom, refer to its atomic number. A neutral carbon atom has six electrons. A neutral chlorine atom has 17 electrons. These examples help us understand atomic structure. They unravel the complexities of chemical behavior. Atoms rarely exist in isolation. They bond to form molecules and polyatomic ions. Molecules form when atoms share electrons. Water, for example, is two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. This creates a polar molecule with unique properties. Polyatomic ions are charged entities of covalently bonded atoms. The sulfate ion, for example, forms compounds like calcium sulfate. Chemical bonding gives rise to the diversity of the material world. From water to DNA, atomic partnerships shape the natural world. These bonds underpin the structure and function of matter. They reveal the boundless creativity of chemical interactions. Understanding matter involves distinguishing elements, compounds, and mixtures. Elements are pure substances defined by their atomic number. The periodic table organizes elements by atomic number and properties. Compounds form when elements combine chemically in fixed ratios. Water is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen. Mixtures consist of physically combined substances in varying proportions. Salt water is a homogeneous mixture of salt and water. Air is a mixture of gases, and soil is a heterogeneous mixture. This classification helps us understand material composition. It provides a framework for exploring the diversity of matter. Chemists use chemical formulas to represent compounds. Molecular formulas show the exact number of atoms in a molecule. Glucose's molecular formula is C6H12O6. Water's molecular formula is H2O. Empirical formulas represent the simplest ratio of atoms. Sodium chloride's empirical formula is NaCl. Glucose's empirical formula is CH2O. Molecular formulas offer detailed atomic makeup. Empirical formulas provide simplified element ratios. Both are essential for understanding chemical composition. The periodic table is a map of matter's building blocks. It organizes elements by atomic number and properties. Periodicity reveals patterns in chemical and physical properties. Groups share similar properties due to valence electrons. Periods represent increasing atomic number and electron shells. The table predicts element properties and behavior. It's an indispensable guide in chemical exploration. In conclusion, the journey through atomic theory reveals the intricate and fascinating world of atoms. From Dalton's groundbreaking theory to the complexities of the periodic table, each chapter has unveiled a piece of the atomic puzzle. Understanding atoms not only deepens our knowledge of the universe, but also paves the way for future scientific discoveries. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into atomic theory. Be sure to have a nice night and good night.